Buffalo, NYWKBW, President Donald Trump tweeted about Buffalo police protester Martin Gugino Tuesday morning, alleging he could be associated with the far left wing, decentralized network Antifa and was trying to interfere with police equipment. In the tweet, the president claims Gugino was pushed away after appearing to scan police communications in order to block out the equipment. He offered no evidence to support his claim. Gugino, 75, who was shoved by Buffalo police while protesting outside City Hall last week, remains in serious but stable condition at Erie County Medical Center. Gugino was part of a group protesting past the 8 p.m. curfew, against police brutality in the wake of George Floyd's death. Mr. Gugino's attorney, Kelly V. Zarconi, Esquire of Lippman and Zarconi, PLLC responded to the tweet Tuesday morning saying, there is no need to go around name-calling, accusing people of being things they're not. Everything will work itself out. She added, Martin has always been a peaceful protester, I don't know where that comes from. Zarconi also spoke to CNN Tuesday morning and said she's at a loss to understand President Trump's questioning of whether the entire incident was a setup. No one from law enforcement has even suggested anything otherwise so we are at a loss to understand why the President of the United States would make such dark, dangerous, and untrue accusations against him, Zarconi said. Martin has always been a peaceful protester because he cares about today's society. The two officers involved are currently suspended without pay and facing assault charges. When contacted about the tweet Tuesday morning, Buffalo Police Captain Jeff Rinaldo said, I have no comment right now. Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown issued the following statement on regards to the president's tweet, The city of Buffalo is focused on healing after several days and nights of calm and constructive meetings and protests about how we take action to achieve racial equity and a good future for our residents and community. We will not be distracted from this urgent work. Our focus on positive change is stronger than ever. My administration remains hopeful that Mr. Gugino will experience a full recovery. And that the officers involved in this incident receive due process under law. In his daily news briefing, Governor Andrew Cuomo blasted the president for his comments. How reckless, how irresponsible, how mean, how crude, Cuomo said. I mean if there was ever a reprehensible dumb comment, and from the President of the United States. At this moment of anguish and anger, what does he do? Pours gasoline on the fire. If there was ever, if he ever feels a moment of decency, he should apologize for that tweet. Because it is wholly unacceptable. Not a piece of proof, totally personally disparaging, and in a moment when the man is still in the hospital. Show some decency. Show some humanity. Show some fairness. You're the President of the United States.